Yeah, I agree with BC on that one. I mean, I think the crowd definitely, Ryan Lowe, he has scored a few goals, but again, since Jones has come in, he's been definitely a bench warmer, used the last 10 or 15 minutes of games. I think he will start with Ranger, whether you think that he should or not. I think I think Dave Jones will stick with the, what he's gone for. I can't really see him changing it for the last game. But obviously, Ryan Lowe, not a bad player to have on the bench. And Chris O'Grady's a bit of a forgotten man, isn't he, really, this season? I think he did a superb job in the first half of the season. And obviously, he's kind of faded out of the team, out of the squad. But I still think he's got a role to play if we need to chuck someone on with 10 minutes to go. Oh, absolutely. Well, I mean, obviously, because uh, the Bulls game, the chap stuck the goal in and we've not heard a great deal of him since. Unbelievable. Absolutely. Well, while, while, we're talking, while we're talking about Chris O'Grady, he came on in the Brentford game and he was exactly what we needed because there's nobody else can hold the ball up the front like he can. He is a big, strong lad. From his fringe downwards, he is just one big muscle. <laughs> <laughs> and if we need somebody on Saturday uh, to stop that ball uh, being launched back at our defence, then he's the man. Without a shadow of a doubt, he's the man. Yeah, I, I would fully expect to see now Rangers starting. I think if we find ourselves starting the second half and still needing to score... I suspect that we'll see Ryan Lowe, um, but if we're comfortable and we want to kill the game off, I suspect that we'll see Chris O'Grady. And to be honest, it's good to have that, uh, you know, the two different uh, players ready to come off the bench to do different jobs. My only worry is that, do we think that Gary Medine is going to be there and he's going to be ready to score those key goals? Uh, I wonder whether, at a late stage of the season or not, uh, we've actually got the reliable goal scorer uh, up top that we need to, to really put Wickham to bed. No, oh, of course, after the, uh, I think the injury spoiled him ever so slightly. Of course, he was on absolute fire before uh, it was two months he, he had off and uh, came back. It took him a little bit of a, a chance to, uh, to score again. And we've not seen the same fellow, I don't think, have we? No, but I'm going to be positive. We've got goals coming from everywhere. They come from defence. They come from midfield. Um, at home, cometh the hour, cometh the man. I, I, I honestly think that Gary Medine's going to do the job for us. Yeah, absolutely. Um, he's a, he's, he tends to be a, a, um, a big game player, doesn't he? He loves the crowd. He loves the adulation. And if ever the stage was set for him to cement that love affair with the fans, it's Saturday. And if he puts the first goal in early doors, that place will ignite and it will be absolutely fantastic for the rest of the game. No, oh, absolutely. He always plays. To me, he always plays like a player that's got a point to prove. Uh, like I say, when he scores, he's stick it to him and all that sort of thing. Uh, if that's his motivation, then fair dues to the chap. Uh, prove away, old boy. Prove away. Uh, of course, uh, chaps. Uh, last time out, uh, we rolled out two one winners. Last time we played uh, Wickham at their place. Uh, in front of a crowd of uh, 6,448. Uh, the chaps aren't used to big crowds and all that sort of thing, so uh, shall, shall we have a prediction for uh, next Saturday? What do you think? Uh, we'll start with you if it's all right, Craig. What do you think? Uh... Well, it's a tough one to predict this, isn't it, really? Wickham are relegated, so does that mean that they're going to be coming to Hillsborough nothing to play for, dejected, having get relegated, or will they just come and enjoy themselves? I think one thing you can guarantee is it'll be a wide-open game. Wickham are obviously going to go for it. They've got nothing to lose. Big crowd will probably pump them up a little bit. I reckon Wednesday will win 4-1. Oh, yes. Very good. good point. I mean, we've often seen relegated teams, uh, once the pressure's off and they know what's what for next season, play much better. Simple as that. Simple as that. Uh, Beastie, can we have your prediction for Saturday, please? Well... <laughs> I'm, I'm really confident about this. Um, I went at that uh, game down at Wickham, um, and I thought we were so much better than them. 2-1 doesn't do justice to uh, uh, the difference between us, and I think we are a better side now. So I'm going to go for 3-0 minimum. 3-0 minimum. OK, and uh, Eddie, uh, what's your prediction, old boy? Ah, oh, listen, you know, the key, as always, with a game like this, is if we can get... An early goal, uh, we're going to just go from strength to strength and we'll probably, you know, run out 3-0, 4-0 winners. Um, if that doesn't happen, then we're going to be pushing for another close win, another, you know, 2-1 or 1-0, something like that. Uh, now, I'm confident, I think with this crowd roaring them on, it's going to be a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity for most of these players. I, I don't care where we go as a club, um, in, you know, from, from here on in. Uh, this is a really, really big day. I don't think they're going to let us down. I, I think it's going to be maybe 3-1, maybe 4-1, something like that. 
Absolutely, chaps, absolutely. Um, from my point of view, uh, we've seen the Wednesday riding their luck just ever so slightly in the last few games, uh, which is about bloody well time as well, I must say. We've had awful luck, awful luck, but I think this is going to be the party that we deserve. I think the Wednesday are going to score early. I think we're going to be relaxed. I think we're going to, and uh, I think it's going to be one for the fans. So I'm, I'm going to go 4 0 Wednesday. 4 0 Wednesday, and uh, bloody well deserve it as well. Bloody well deserve it as well. And are we going to be invading the pitch at the end, lads? Oh, well, fortunately, unless Jeeves is going to carry me on the pitch, oh boy, I don't run anywhere. Uh, so uh, you shan't catch me running about down there. Hey, but, uh, how good would that be if uh, you had one of them sedan chairs and four blokes carried you onto the pitch? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Jeeves, sort that, will you please? Thank you, old boy. <laughs> Shall you chaps be on the pitch? Well, I'll certainly uh, be attempting it. If, uh, sorry, for legal reasons I won't be, um, <laughs> but I may, I may well find myself on the pitch if I'm dragged on there against my will by my uh, four-year-old son. So oh, uh, cool. yes, I'll, if uh, cool. if there, I'll be making a beeline for the centre circle. So come and visit. I think it's one of those things where um, you're guided by the emotion of the moment. This ain't one of those um, regular end of season. Let's get on the pitch no matter what. No, this but... is an emotional moment, and I don't think you'll be able to stop anybody being overcome by that moment and getting on that pitch. Obviously, I have to retain professionalism at all times with uh, my links at the club, so I'll very much be the first person on the pitch, even though I'm sat <laughs> right at the back of the North Stand. Well, you've got to get on there to get the interviews, old boy. You've got to exactly, get, uh, get professional the reasons. <laughs> now, of course, ladies and gentlemen, we must say for legal reasons that uh, under no circumstances does the Wednesday week um, think it's a good idea for anybody to go on the pitch, and anybody that does so is very, very, very naughty indeed. That's told them. Well, so that's the uh, Wiccan game all uh, taken care of. There are views, of course. Uh, do get in touch with your views. Uh, uh, obviously, we haven't got a next game. Uh, hopefully, we've not got a next game to, uh, to to look forward to. But uh, if you do have any views on the Wiccan game whilst it's been played, please do get in touch with us, uh, uh, and we'll go through their contact details at the end of the show. Back in again. Arthur Chapman. Arthur Right then, ladies and gents, it's time for your Sheffield Wednesday news from this week. Uh, uh, and, of course, uh, well, we all know what's been going off uh, on the pitch, but uh, off the pitch we've had a, a few little rumours flying about that we'll be getting a, a chap called Callum Bennett from Ipswich. Uh, as far as I've been able to find out, he's a, a right-back down there. Um, of course, could be a, a, a cracking understudy from uh, for, for Mr Buxton. Uh, what do we think, chaps? Uh, this room has been uh, knocking about for quite a while now. Uh, I don't know if you've heard anything about it down there, Craig. Oh, this is always an interesting one. Apparently a few League One clubs have been looking at him. It has been mentioned a few few times, but there's one thing you can guarantee with Dave Jones. When it comes to transfer con uh, targets, you won't get anything out of him at all. You try and try all you all you can, but you'll get nothing out of him until someone's signed on the dotted line. There's no chance you'll hear anything from him, so it just remains a rumour for the time being. And I, I imagine with a big game coming up on Saturday, it'll be the last thing you'll be thinking about right now. No, no, absolutely. I mean, of course, gents, if, if, if these rumours are true, uh, do you think Mr Mr Jones is after a, a new right-back? I mean, obviously, Mr Buxton is doing a wonderful job, in, in my opinion, uh, but uh, is he looking to the future, do you think, Beastie? What do you think about that? Well, it wasn't um, Fudge that started this rumour, was it? Because we know that he's got this little thing about uh, <laughs> Lewis Buxton. I mean, he's trying to hound him out of the club at the minute, isn't he? He's not, he's not Callum Bennett's agent, is he? <laughs> Uh, uh, to me, to me, uh, Lewis Buxton is one of our most consistent performers. Um, whether Dave Jones sees it like that, I'm not so sure. But he does. One thing about Dave Jones is he does have a good eye for talent, doesn't he? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I don't think anyone is suggesting that Lewis Buxton's position is, is anything like under threat. Um, not only is he one of our most consistent performers, but I would be very surprised if he wasn't the most professional player in the squad. Um, so uh, anyone who's thinking of, of replacing him better be a very, very good player indeed. But no, this is the sort of transfer rumour that I, ca I quite like at this time of the season because it, it's about building a squad for the future, um, looking at where we're, we're wanting to be in the next you know, three, five years' time. So so it's fine for me. If there's anything in it, then great. I think he's a good young player. If not, then who cares? It doesn't really matter, does it? 
No, of course. I mean, uh, Mr. Mr. Buxton, uh, uh, I'm just looking on, on, on Wikipedia here. Uh, Lewis Edward Buxton uh, was born uh, in 1983, so that'll make him, uh, what, 28, uh, there or thereabouts. Uh, of course, uh, the, the young lad that we're talking about signing is only 19, so uh, get him in there while Buxton's still playing and, and give him something to learn. What do you think, chaps? Mr. Buxton, uh, a good player to watch for a young player. I think he, he's an absolutely fantastic role model for uh, for young players. He's he's a model professional, so any young player should be looking to learn from the likes of Lewis Buxton. Wasn't he the one that um, Raider turned to to learn about uh, defending as a fullback? No, oh, that may well be true. May well be true. Yeah, so uh, like I say, absolute professional. Uh, whatever Mr. Fudge says, uh, everybody's entitled to their opinion, uh, even if it's wrong. <laughs> uh, now, like I say, ladies and gents, we have been. Uh, you may not know that Fudge has actually been listening in to uh, to this uh, conversation. Uh, of oh, I didn't mean it then. I took it back. <laughs> He can't speak, uh, and, I, and I did say to Mr. Fudge, please, Mr. Fudge, please give us your comedy gold and do tweet us, uh, sorry, do uh, messages uh, as we're going along if there's anything you'd like to say. Uh, now, he's just come through with a message saying, happy to be here. Uh, uh, welcome to the welcome to the show. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, old Fudge, old boy, but you're going to have to type a little bit faster than that. That was hours ago. Uh, if you want to get your points in, crack on, old boy, crack on. Are you on a bloody typewriter or what over there? Uh, Oh, dear me, Fudge, dear me. Not only can you not uh, understand Lewis Buxton's, you can't understand bloody typewriters as well. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, we shall crack on. Uh, the next point in the news is uh, there's also been a, a little bit of a rumour uh, that Mr Medine could be going the other way. Now, this is, uh, of course, just a rumour at this point. It, uh, it is out there on the interwebs and uh, that, that uh, like I said, Mr Medine could be uh, heading off to, uh, to Ipswich. I mean, do we think there's any, any truth in that, chaps, or is it just absolute bumpkin? Uh, I'll start on this one. I think with, with Medine, obviously, he, he scores goals and he's had a fantastic season at times, before his injury mainly. But um, there has been mentions that we could probably get a bit of cash from him. He's a young player. It might be a good idea to offload him. Once we get promoted, bring someone else in who's a little bit calmer in the head. But I think with this one, Dave Jones has said many times that he's a player that he's looked at in the past. And I think he really wants to bring on Medine and get the best out of him. So for me, I can't see it. But if the right offer comes in, you never know. No, absolutely. I mean, it has been said that, like you say, uh, Craig, Dave Jones, uh, I believe, was looking at Mr. Medine when he was uh, uh, managing other clubs. Am I right in saying that? That's right. When he was at Cardiff, he uh, had a good look at him, but decided against in the end. Yeah, so he's obviously a, a player that he's uh, been keeping an eye on. And, uh, of course, we all know uh, Mr. Medine uh, can sometimes have a little bit of uh, trouble... Uh, how can I put this politely? Um, keeping his head in the game, and uh, also uh, when he's off the pitch, keeping his head uh, on his shoulders, uh, my own account. So, uh, uh, what, what do you think uh, over there, Eddie? Do you think we could uh, do with a new striker coming in to replace him, or uh, are we happy with him? No, I think uh, Gary Medine's goal scoring this season, especially the first half of the season, warrants him every opportunity to, to continue as a Sheffield Wednesday player. I don't think anyone should seriously think about, about getting shot. Um, however, Every player is available for the right price, and every player can be replaced by the right player. So, um, now let's see what happens over the summer. I think Gary Medine, motivated, um, is a great asset to, to any club in the championship. So, um, let's see what the summer brings. Absolutely, well, absolutely. Uh, I believe I'm uh, quoting uh, a famous saying: "It's a funny old game." Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, as you said, uh, the only uh, actual stable at a football club is uh, the fans. Uh, so uh, players come and go, but uh, we'll always be there, won't we, boys? We'll always be there. Uh, on with the news, and of course, uh, this uh, the, the win on Saturday saw the uh, the club get a uh, a new record uh, for points uh, in one season. Uh, absolutely incredible, 90 points and uh, still only second, chaps. Uh, we haven't known anything like it. It's a fantastic achievement that the club's had this season. I think there's been times during the season where, you know, say after the Chesterfield game, people are down the dumps and thinking, yeah, we're never going to get anywhere. But the, the fact that we've got as many points as we have, like I say, a record for the club, and we still need a win the last game of the season, I think not only is it a testament to us, but also the teams around us in the league. It's been, it's been a fantastic league this season and Wednesday have contributed to that.